Hey everyone, I'm here with the evangelist Mark Marozov of Global Revival Ministries. And Mark, it's such a pleasure to have you here with us today. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah, man, I'm so honored to be here with you. I wanted to ask you a few questions. I hope you're ready because this guy can get crazy sometimes. Uh, you, you travel a lot and, and, and we see you on social media. We see what the Lord is doing. W what is the Lord speaking? What is he saying uh, right now? I really hear him and feel that what he's doing to the church and to the body of mm -hmm. Christ is bringing him back to the first love. Yeah. He's bringing him back to what's most important, bringing him back to prayer, bringing him back to relationship with God. Because mm -hmm. I think what happens is we, we feel like we figured God out. We feel like we know God already. We know everything about him and this is him. This is not right. him. And it can limit us from accessing him. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus couldn't access certain miracles or couldn't release certain miracles because they saw him the way that they saw him, mm -hmm. right? They had a, uh, they, they saw him as a carpenter. So yeah. they couldn't receive from the anointing that was on his life. So I feel like Jesus, it, it gives his spirit with no measure. There's no limits, but we, we put our guidelines and we say, this is him. This is how he's going to move. And God's such a good God that he'll, he doesn't force himself on us. Yeah. And so he's a gentleman. And, you know, he doesn't force people to get saved. He gives them the option to follow him. We're not robots. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so I, I feel like we've just figured God out. So as the body, we've stopped praying. Yeah. The body has stopped seeking the Lord because they feel like they know everything there is to know about him. And it's just, we, it's caused us to put higher things higher than him. Yeah. And, you know, if he's not in the first place, other things will be, right? The church did everything right in Revelation, but one thing I have against you, it's the first love. Mm. The first love, if, if you've ever been in love and you've had a first love, it, it's first, it's it's new, it's something's different. But the thing is, you know, uh, we feel like we've got it all, we understand it all, and therefore, like, it's not the first love anymore. And so what that does is that that hunger for getting to know him is gone. So it causes us not to pray and which causes us not to have hunger, which causes him not to move. Mm. He's not gonna force revival. Everybody wants revival. Everybody wants to see a move of God, but yeah. he's not gonna force it on you. And so it's up to us to really come and receive the spirit which, that has no measure, no. is an unlimited supply. And the question is, if we're not seeing the things we see in history and, and the book of Acts and, and the revivals that happened in, throughout the mm -hmm. generations, A.A. A. Allen, Smith Wigglesworth, T.L. Osborne, Question for us is, what are we doing wrong? Why are we not seeing it? And it's not God. He hasn't changed. Come on, somebody. Come on, Alpha somebody. and Omega, beginning and the end, same today, yesterday, and forever. Hallelujah. He hasn't changed. The same yeah. Jesus that walked this earth is the same Jesus that's available for us today. But why are we not receiving all of what he has for us? So mm. and I believe it's we've lost the first love. He's not first. Yeah. You know, he's not that most important thing anymore. Uh, you know, you, when you're in love, you're always thinking about that person. That's you're always right. thinking about that thing, whatever it is you're in love with. Yeah. And so I feel like we've put other things higher than him. And so God's returning the body back to the first love to fall in love with I'm him. Not, I leave you with two commands. Love God, love your yeah, neighbor. Love. When you love God, you will love your neighbor, right? And yeah. so there's been a division that the enemies brought among the body, but it's all because there's no love first and foremost for him, right? And so he's restoring that first love, restoring the hunger. And I really believe as people come and drink from the well that does not run dry and they, you know, they will get more hungry. They will get more thirsty. They will fall in love with him again and realize, you know what? I don't even know who he is. Mm. I don't know who God is because here we feel like we figured him out and then out. we limit him. We stop him from moving in our life because we know everything there is to know about him. And he's trying to pour out more of his spirit. He's trying to yeah. do more then we've seen it where the sin increases, the grace increases grace all the increases. more. Glory of God's increasing all the more, but we figured him out. We know him. We know who he is because we know him. We've limited him. And so I feel like, again, we need to go back to that first love. We need to go back to hungering for him so mm. we can really come back to that humble place of, God, I don't know you. Is it possible that the condition of the church, obviously I'm draw drawing a broad brush, but the condition of a church that we lost the awe. Yeah. And, and we're looking figuratively on, on Jesus and we're not seeing something that would bring us into a condition of awe. Whoa. 
how mighty, how strong, how powerful. And so we're looking at him as Jesus, the carpenter's son. And there's not that much to it. We figured everything out. And, and the Lord has been challenging me, Mark. I'm telling you, he's been challenging me he, to, to look deeper, yeah. to look into his beautiful eyes. And every time I look, I am in awe. I so, said, Lord, how beautiful are you? How glorious are you? And, and I, I think I, like what you just says really resonates because he's bringing me personally, like I pastor a church, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether you're a pastor, you're a president, you're a vice president, it doesn't matter who you are. He wants to have a personal relationship with you. And we were talking earlier that I'm praying right now. I, I go to prayer, not for Lord, give me a message. Lord, give me, you know, a word for the people. It's Lord, deal with my heart. Lord, I want to see you higher and greater. I, I, bring me back to that passion for you. Bring me back to that love for you. And I believe that, that, that as you travel global revival ministry, that you're, you're, you're sparking that fire, bro. And it's amazing because I'm seeing young people that are on fire. And I want to thank God for what you're doing uh, all around uh, the United States and, and the world, man. This is such, such great work. And I wanted to ask you a follow-up question of, Mark, how, how do you do God's work God's way instead of God's work your way? Yeah. Because there's a difference doing God's work God's way or God's work your way. How, how does that look like? So I let God do it. <laughs> that, well, I want to, that's a simple answer. <laughs> I let him do it. I give him full control. Mm -hmm. And I come back to that place. I don't know. The, again, the problem is we know everything. Yeah. And that causes us not to come to him with yeah. need. God, I need you. I need to know. So that, that again, that first love is gone. That, yeah. that need for him is gone because we got it. We know him. We know everything yeah. there is about him. So we really don't need to know him. Then we learn the language. We speak. We talk about the language, right? We call ourselves Christian, but there's no fruit. Like, look at the fruit of the tree. And then the problem with that is when, when, when it's been done so wrong for so long that when it's right, it doesn't look right. It doesn't look and feel right. It right? doesn't something feel like right because something's up. different. But yeah. you know, it always looks different with God. Yeah. And if it on. if it does look the same, that's not God. Can you say that again? It always what? It always looks different with God because He does things how He wants to. Come on. Not how we want to man he's god not we god because we put him in these guidelines and say this is how he moves and he will move like that because he he's a god of order yes. but who decides what order is do we decide or does he decide he wants to take control that's why all the new worship songs they're all spontaneous mm. when you hear what heaven is saying heaven is released yeah you know what i mean yeah. and so the problem is we take control and then he's he's such a good god he says okay mm -hmm. go do it but we need to give him full control in the place that place is god i don't know you yeah. i come back to you help me what do i do next yeah you know how to do every certain things paul knew everything right, 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 right. but he chose to know nothing you know what i mean but christ bro and so we just come back to that place keep seeking him keep crying out to him and, and keep hungering for him and remove what we know about him because the moment we expect him a certain way mm. we will limit him from fully being who he is. And he wants us to be in the place of, I don't know who you are. Yeah. I want to know you more. That's a healthy place to be. The, yeah. the, the dangerous place, the prideful place is, I know everything there is to know about me. Yeah. I don't need to learn anymore. Therefore, right. you don't pray because you know everything. You don't seek him because you know everything. And so he's bringing us back to this place. Come on. You know, the Bible says in, uh, in Matthew, uh, it says that many will say to me, Lord, Lord, I never knew you. Say, but I did all these things for you. And he say, get away. I never knew you, mm. right? Yeah. It's, it's, I didn't know you. Yeah, you did these things. Yeah, you accomplished your question, right? How, how do you, you do them and, and you still do this. So you can still do, not love with evangelist Daniel Kalina says, yeah. like, you can still do nothing without me, right? Jesus yeah. says that. You yeah. can do a lot, but it's going to amount to nothing. It's going to wow. be pointless because it's you doing it. That's so good. you can still build. You can still do things. You can get formulas of how to do th different things. You know what I mean? and build it, but it's not going to be him. It's going to be you. And it can even look like him. Yeah. But, you know, we got to come back to that place. And you know what's wild about this verse and this section in the Bible? Get away, I never knew you. Yeah. You who practice lawlessness. Mm. They, had, they had prophetic words. Yeah. 
deliverance, Mirror. healing. Yep. You who practice lawlessness. Lawlessness, come on, somebody. Come on. Lawlessness is lawlessness when it's done without him. Wow. We've been doing it without him, and that's wow. the problem. Whew. Man, I got. Yeah. We've, we've done church without God, and wow. we say God's here. So we're trying to do God's work, but it's being done our way. So at the end of the day, the word of God says that that's lawlessness. Wow. That, that, it's done without him. That's what yeah. Jesus paid for on the cross so that we can do it with him. He can do it with mm -hmm. us. It's, re it, it's relationship with him, yeah. not just relationship, relationship. It's relationship on your face, on your knees. I need you. How do I do this? Walk with me. Yeah, Paul said, pray without ceasing. That's, yeah. Don't stop. That's living connected with heaven everywhere you go. We leave him in church. Mm. We leave him in a prayer closet. We got to take him out. We got to take him everywhere to the street. Come we got to take him to the gas stations. And then, you know, people will be manifesting because we yeah. show up. The world longs for revealing of the sons of God. Sons yeah. are ones who know the father. And Come on. where they show up, they break the curse off humanity. Yes. Uh, you know, orphans have a father too. They just don't know him. Mm. They don't know him personally. They know of him. Yeah. They don't know him personally. And so, you know, we need to go back on our face and, and stay in this humble posture. God, I don't know you. Even with what I do know you, I still don't because it's the Holy Spirit's like the wind. You don't know where he goes, yep. what he does, how he does. Just what I know, I, I think I know God. I He shows me I don't. Mm. You know, like how I hear his voice, how he shows word of knowledge, how he uh, moves in the gifts of the spirit. Yep. Like, I, I don't know how someone gets healed and so, how someone doesn't get healed. Mm -hmm. The moment I try to figure it out, it stops happening. Yep. Yeah. So I said, God, I don't right. know it, but I'm going to do, do what it. your word says. I'll just pray. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll just, and we need to stay here. Come but on. the only way we can stay here is if we're coming back to his feet because yeah. he keeps us low. Yeah. He keeps us, it, it, he keeps us in this posture. Bro, I love what you said that um, we leave God at our churches. So we go to church on Sunday, on Wednesday, um, prayer room. <clears throat> And uh, we walk out of the church, walk out of the house, and we do it on our own. But that was never the design of God. He's supposed to go with you. And I, I love that. That I mean, Peter's getting financial help from a fish, right? And he's following the word of God in his professional life. He's catching a whole bunch of fish. That's, that's not only in the synagogue. That's not only it's at work. It's in your marriage. It's in every sphere of life. And that is doing God's work, God's way. Everywhere where you are at, whether you are in the mission field, whether you're at work, you're at Walmart, wherever you're at, bring the Lord with you. Walk with the Lord. And I'm telling you, your life is going to be a never-ending, powerful adventure, Holy Ghost adventure. I wanted to I just end with this question. Even last night, as you ministered, we saw uh, miracles, we saw healing. And I think some people are like, whoa, this is powerful because the, it, it wasn't at the end. It wasn't at the altar call. It was right there during worship. How like miracles, uh, healing. Some people think this is 2000 years ago. Some people think, hey, all of that stuff ended or this stuff is happening in a third third world country. But the reality is, is God is showing up here and right now. Tell me a little bit about, you know, what the Lord is doing in the miraculous. Yeah, you seek him in secret, he rewards you in yeah. public. The reward in public is Jesus showing up. Yeah. When you've been with him in secret. Mm. Reason why he's not showing up is because you haven't been with him. The sheep know the shepherd's voice. You know when he calls. And so it's hearing when he wants and how he wants it. And I take the marching orders and I go. I'm on. And he shows up because it's his way or the highway. But we figured him out and we know we know the steps, we know the schedule, we know and, and he's like, you know, I'm gonna step okay. back. Let, you do it let your see, way. You do it. Yeah. And so he wants full control and full access of how he moves. You know what I mean? And so I've learned to let go. It did not make sense to step out in the beginning. You, you have yeah. to teach him build faith. Right, 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 right. right. Have, yeah. We understand how we yeah. do it. You have to do it at the end of the service, at the altar call when people's hearts are postured toward. But the most fruitful way and the best way is how does he want to do it? When does he want to do it? And I've learned when I obey him, he shows up and I don't take glory because I have no idea what I'm right, doing. Right, he right, takes right. glory. 
You know what I mean? So good. And, and it's just standing on the word, believing what the scripture says, not reading it as some word, but reading it as the living word, not building our theology on our experience, but building it on the scripture. I, I'm not building my theology of what I've seen necessarily, you know, in, yeah. in he, I've prayed and people haven't got healed. Does that mean God can't heal? Right, 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 right. Yeah. It says, lay hands on the sick, they'll recover. So I believe for it. And we're seeing it everywhere. We're so seeing good. it in every church, every city. There has not been a church Come on. in the last eight years Come on. of the ministry God's been leading me in Thank you, that man. where I've released the word of Thank God, you, Jesus. not not any word, any man, yeah. the, not experience, not the scripture. Come on. And by his blood, we are healed. Yeah. He does it. Jesus. Sometimes mid-sermon, mm. people jump up and say, I'm healed. Sometimes in the beginning, before the sermons even preached, sometimes they're work. Sometimes I don't even pray. I just say, receive your healing. Let God be God. Yeah. Just let him do it. I want to ask you, um, and can you, whoever's watching us right now, can you pray for them? Maybe they're going through, they got uh, internal wounds. They got, uh, uh, you know, they need healing of the soul. They, they, they're struggling with some kind of illness uh, in their body. Uh, Mark, can you pray for them right now? Yeah. The Lord will touch them wherever they are at right now. Yeah, there is no distance for the power of the Holy Spirit to fill you. Come on, the same Jesus right here yeah. in this place where we're sitting is the same Jesus that can fill you right where you're at. Listen, we, we, we've we released videos, we've done online services. I went to a place in Alaska, we were preaching in Alaska. Uh, we were praying for in the service for people to get healed. The next day people come to the second service. They say, I was watching online, I got healed. Come on. We were doing live streams on Instagram. A lady had eczema. She said, through the live stream, power God hits me. She said, I had eczema everywhere. I had stomach problems for years. Instantly, the power God hit her. Jeez stomach up. pains left. She start, She woke up the next day. Eczema left. A few days wow. later, completely gone. To this wow. day, she's fully healed. Glory. She's had it for years. Glory. Listen, the power of God is the same. And when you on. stand on the scripture and what the scripture says, yeah. and you pray for the sick and you declare, take authority over that sickness, it has to go. So good. I, we're not going to build our experience on, uh, you know, our, our theology on our experience of what we've seen, but what the scripture yeah. says. And we're going to release that right now. Come on. We're going to release that supernatural power of Jesus. We're going to take authority over that sickness. Jesus didn't pray. He commanded. We're going to yes. take that authority from heaven given to us. We're going to command that sickness to leave your body wherever it is now. Just lay a hand. Come on. Lay a hand there. Watch the power of God yes. fill you, yes. heal you, deliver you right where you're at in Jesus' mighty yes. name right now. God, we thank you for your blood. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. Lord, we know it is your will thank you, Lord. to heal this man, this woman, this yes. child, this yes. grandmother, grandfather. Yes, right now, be healed in Jesus' name. Be Heal. made whole in Come Jesus' on. name. All body pain from the top of the head to the sole of the feet, be Hallelujah. healed. No more headaches, no more nauseousness, no more backaches, no more knee pains, no more arm pains, leg pains. And any pain we did not mention in Come Jesus' on. name, we release creative miracles in Jesus' mighty name. And we thank you for this healing in Jesus' name. Come on, right where you're at, just move a body part. Some of you are gonna be moving, you're gonna feel the power of God fill a certain area of your, your body. You're gonna feel all the pain lift. May you testify of that supernatural healing that Jesus did in your life. And I pray as you lay hands on the sick from this Come one floor that Jesus will use you and activate you. Listen. I don't want you to think that if it's his will, because if you're praying, if it's his will, you're praying with doubt. Come on. Yeah. That's a yes and a no. Yes, no is maybe so. Maybe so is no. Ah, you got to understand the authority you have as a son or a daughter that mm. it is his will. And as yeah. you lay your hands, they will be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Mark, thank you so much. It's going to happen. We're going to have more of these. Just wait. It's going to be powerful. God bless you, everybody. Until next time, be blessed.